Chibu, let me begin by asking you, thank you for joining us. Happy New Year to you. What is your assessment of demand right now in 2014? Are you feeling a lot more confident of 2014 than, than you did of 2013? So first and foremost, Happy New Year. Um, so um, as I said, no, let me just give you a brief overview of Q3 before I answer your question. I think Q3 was a fairly decent quarter as per our expectation. Generally, Q3 and Q4 are soft quarters for us. Q3 predominantly because of furloughs and holidays. And, and, we, and, and that has reflected. So uh, we grew by 1.7% in, uh, in Q3. A volume growth of 0.7%. Margins did improve. Our operating margin improved from 23.5% to 25%. Also strong client additions in Q3. Now to get back to your question, I think the budgets are closing on time. So we expect the budgets to close over the next um, two months. We expect that the budgets will be overall stable. While we are seeing um, variations in different industry verticals, we expect that the budgets will be overall stable. At the same time, clients are very much focused on cost optimization. That gives us an opportunity to create solutions which will reduce their total cost of ownership and thereby grow with our clients. Shibu, uh, I want to talk about Europe specifically that has seen a sequential growth of about 5.5%. Uh, how do you see growth playing out specifically in Europe? What are clients telling you? So one needs to put this in perspective because Europe um, is only about 24% of our revenue sure. and it is a smaller base. It has grown well this quarter. There is a little bit of seasonality. To it. I will not consider this as a secular trend. Looking at next year, we are seeing that the budgets are somewhat stable across uh, most of our markets. And um, I would tend to believe that um, you know, the, our performance will be somewhat similar across the, across the globe. At the same time, we have invested in the Europe. We have done the Lodestone acquisition, uh, which has brought in synergies between Lodestone and Infosys. Uh, using those synergies, we are uh, trying to open new clients. So we have made some investments in Europe. Praveen Rao also joins us on this conversation. Praveen, uh, if you take a look at uh, vertical performance, uh, which would you think would be the lead for 2014, where do you th which uh, verticals do you see leading growth for you in 2014 in terms of uh, both top line and in terms of profitability? I think there is uh, good potential across verticals. So if I consider my own uh, vertical, retail, CPG and logistics, as well as life sciences, I think this quarter we have seen uh, good growth, 3.4% uh, growth. Uh, and the growth has been uh, uniform all around. Uh, we have seen good growth both on the retail side as well as on the life sciences side. Uh, and in the last couple of quarters also, we have seen uh, good growth coming from Europe, particularly continental Europe. And uh, that trend uh, is uh, likely to continue. So uh, I think, uh, I mean, looking at uh, most verticals, I think by and large, uh, I think the prospect for the coming year uh, is uh, fairly positive. We are seeing uptake in the discretionary spend. Uh, we are also seeing a lot of pressure on cost, which is also translating into large deals, uh, which can also be a positive uh, for us. Uh, so from that sense, uh, of course, I mean, from specific verticals, there will always be some sub-segments sub which may not be doing well. But in general, by and large, if you look at it from a vertical perspective, I think uh, uh, we see fairly good prospects across the board.